Hello everyone, my name is Kason Angelo Yao. I'm from Indonesia. I'm a 11 years old boy. I'm currently studying at Marasharan Christian School. I've been doing robotics since a few months. Beforehand, I learned coding and then started to learn robotics. Robotics is fun and challenging for me. And also, this is my first time joining RCAP competition. My executive summary of preliminary challenge. My category is RCAP co-space autonomous driving for step U12. My challenge was to reach the finish line by going through all of the checkpoints and trying to minimize the time with keeping the stability by adjusting the speed. The problem that I met was the robot wasn't stable. The robot could go off-road. The method I used was finding the fastest road with good stability and the fastest speed as possible, such as making more statements. I used L1 and R1 line follower sensors to make it go fast and smoothly. For the result, the robot was running fast and stable. The time result I got was 34.642 seconds. For the conclusion, the robot reached the finish line with taking shortcuts and going through all of the checkpoints. In this section, I'm going to tell you how to have a good time result. First, go through all of the checkpoints with good stability by adjusting the speed so it can minimize the time. Second, use L1 and R1 line solar sensors to make it go fast and smoothly. Third, if you, take, if you detect a wall or an obstacle, use a good speed value, ultrasonic sensor value, and duration value to turn left or right to make a shortcut or a faster way. Fourth, use speed, land follower sensors, ultrasonic sensors, time, and duration. In this section, I will be presenting my final game instead of preliminary game because I had some issues loading the preliminary game. When the lens follower sensors detect all black, I will turn left. When the lens follower sensors detect R1, R2, and R3 white, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect all black, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect a wall between time 12 and 14, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect a wall between time 23.4 until 24.7, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect R1 wide, it will make a right turn. When the lens folder sensors detect all black, it will turn left. When the lens folder sensors detect a wall between time 27 until 30, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect a wall between time 30 until 33, it will turn right. When the lens folder sensors detect all black, it will turn left. Applying knowledge came to the real world. Nowadays, there are some autonomous driving vehicles such as subways and cars. 
autonomous subways works by using a technology which involves communication between the subway and equipment on the track for management of all traffic, speed, and timing. Autonomous cars works by using a device that has autopilot and sensors all attached to different parts of the body of autonomous cars. I can use the knowledge I have gained to help these machines to do a better job by improving some of their features. Thank you for listening to my finalist presentation and God bless you. Thank you.